This is Sunday. Sunday is a puppy from Blue and Storm. So Sunday is six months old right now. He came down from Maryland for a week to uh, to get some socialization and some training and iron out a few problems that the owners are having with him. Just typical puppy problems. But uh, uh, unfortunately, the trainers that they got hooked up with up there didn't know what they were doing. And they put a bunch of labels on this dog that are not appropriate. And as a four month old puppy, he was not allowed to play with the other puppies in the class. And the whole thing has just been kind of a downhill slide for this dog. So. We decided it was best if he just comes back, spends a week with us, and uh, you know, I've been assessing him for the last three days. I don't see any of this stuff that these people are talking about. They said he couldn't play with other dogs and all this stuff. And um, you know, he's just a typical teenage six month old puppy. So I have spent a bunch of time with him just running with my dogs and doing a little bit of pressure and release training. Now today I have him on a on a harness. I wanted to put him on the easy walk harness, but we're going to have to work a bunch on his table manners and impulse control. And I would strongly suggest, I got to do something to my phone, excuse me. I'm getting a new phone today. This thing is messing up a lot. Um, suggest to his owners to get a grooming table, get a small, what's called a ringside grooming table. And I suggest everybody has one of these. And I'm going to do some table training with him. But you see, you know, he's been here three days. So, or two days, I see, one well, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, this is his third day. So today, mostly, I just want him to start. There we go. Good, no food. I don't know if you've ever gone fishing. When you set the hook, you just do a little snap like that. What I'm letting him do, I've got him on a long line good. See, he's too smart for these trainers up there. That's his problem. You're just too smart. When he wanders off and starts looking around, I'm just going to give him a little. There. And so I just gave him a little, just a little, like I'm setting the hook on a fishing line and I'm not saying anything. I'm not telling him to C-O-M-E or any of that. What I'm trying to do is get him conditioned to check in with me. Because one of the things this dog does is he barks when they go out walking. He barks at people, he barks at dogs. Now, I've tested him and he is not aggressive. He, I don't believe he's fearful. I believe what he wants to do is get to those dogs so that he can play. He has played, he has brought out play in some of my dogs that just do not play. But his, the, the and he, his family gives him plenty of stimulation. They train with him, they exercise him, they take him to classes, even though the instruction at these classes aren't very good. Um, they take him to a little pre-agility puppy class. Uh, they do a lot of things with him. But his problem is he's way more interested in the environment then he is in checking in with, with his owners and, you know, staying on the same page with his owners. So uh, I'm going to be doing this a lot. See, when I checked it, I gotta do something. Today is new phone, new camera day, people. I'm so sorry. My phone is just about to go. If you try to get a hold of me this week and you can't, it's because there's, my phone is dead. I'm, hopefully, I'm gonna get a new one today. But what I'm doing is letting him look around. And then I'm just gonna give him a pop. Now, see, he's coming past me. Give him another pop till he comes to me. Give him a little scratch under the chin. He's just a little puppy. It's fine that he's interested in the environment, but there we go. There. So see now he's a little bit more 
engaged with me. This, getting your dog to hook to you and mirror you and do what you do, walk when you walk, stop when you stop, see this? And keep four on the floor. That's gonna eliminate the barking and the pulling and the jumping and the lunging and all of the ways the dogs act out when they don't have good leadership. Notice how my feet are still now and his feet are still. My feet move, his feet move. My feet are still, his feet are still. I'm communicating this through the line. He's on a harness, he's not on a slip lead, he's not on a shock collar, he's not on a prong collar, he's on a harness. And I'm never, he's never to get this harness tight, okay? One of the big parts of this message. Okay, see the difference. He's starting to move with me a little bit. Stop when I stop. But it's never this, don't hold your dog tight. Give him a loose leash. If he goes out to where it becomes tight, you pop him back to you. You know, the big complaint I get from people, oh, my dog, you know, he chokes himself on his, even on his heart. He's not choking himself, you're choking him. They can't choke themselves, you choke them, okay? <laughs> so keep a loose leash. So we're going to be doing a lot of this while he's here. i got to fix my... Okay, sorry. Hopefully I can... I'll take the time to edit that out. I don't know. Right. See, where puppies get themselves into trouble with the barking and the lunging is they're thinking for themselves. I never give my dog my puppy an opportunity when it's on the leash to think for itself. It does what I do. Walk when I walk. If people would only understand, that's gonna eliminate 99.99% .99 of your behavioral problems on the leash. Walk when I walk, stop when I stop, keep four on the floor. Okay, my feet are not moving, his feet are not moving. He's six months old, there's all these distractions. I've never had him out here in the front pasture. This is day one. We've done some other stuff in the house. We've done some stuff on the deck. This is our first day in the pasture. I've been recording a lot of his stuff. I haven't put it on YouTube yet, so it might all kind of seem a little like a puzzle piecey when I put it together, but um, basically I'm just trying to get this dog on the right track that the trainers up in Maryland, you uh, treat dolers, couldn't do this with this dog, wouldn't allow him to play with other dogs, Would couldn't, yeah. They couldn't train it. And these people are new dog owners. And so, I mean, even d people that have owned dogs for years drink that Kool-Aid, but you know, they're doing what they're told to do by a trainer. Two doggy daycares turned him down. Give me a break. When he was a four-month-old puppy, <laughs> the class that he was in would not allow him to play with other puppies. They made him stay behind a barrier and be frustrated for all those weeks. And then they wonder why he's got barrier barking going on. I fixed that. The owners were here day one. I fixed the barrier barking in one, probably 30-second session. They saw it. They can attest to that. People that train with treats, learn how to train dogs, please. Quit ruining people's dogs. So I have him on a long line because I'm going to go ahead and walk a lap around and I'm going to let him have a lot of slack. 
and let him run around. But when he hits the end of the slack, I'm going to bring him back to me. I'll try to show you some of that also. We've got mosquitoes. It's humid as all get out. I'm trying to work in the shade. It's only 7 o'clock in the morning, but it's going to be a scorcher here today. So we're getting all this done before it gets hot.